What's happening guys? Blast SB. We're gonna talk a little bit more about the uh, Goal Zero solar powered stuff. Um, battery banks, whatever you want to call it. Uh, this guy here, this bigger guy is called a Yeti 400. Bam, right there. So what that means is a, is a 400 watt, uh, 400 watt hours basically. So if this light was one watt, it would it could plug into here and run for 400 hours. Uh, coincidentally, both of these lights do have a one watt setting. So there you have it. Um, if something was 100 watts, this could run it for four hours. So something bigger, like a uh, you know, like a 30 inch TV screen, this would run that for a few hours. Hey, tough guy, quiet down. Anyway, um, it's it's pretty neat. You. Uh, you know, it's basically you have your uh, 12 volt on, your USB on, and then your AC on. So you have 110 volt dual ACs, two, uh, two amp USBs, and a 12 volt kind of like car battery. These two ports are uh, designed specifically from the company for these lights here. So you can see right there, um, it's hard to tell in the daytime, but th these are absolutely fantastic lights. Um, this thing is a 350 lumen, and let's see, it's cranked up all the way, let's see, it, 4 watts, and on low power it is 1 watt. So we'll go ahead and keep that on. This is called the Light of Life. This one is called the Light of Life Mini, because it is just like that except mini and it uses a USB plug for charge okay this guy is also plenty bright um, so let's see now we got both these lights running and we're at three watts alrighty um, what's kind of cool about these minis is that they have you can attach multiples together because they all have this piece what I like to use this piece right here for <clears throat> when I'm in my tent, because I'll hang this light as the dome light of the tent. Then I have this little accessory piece, little fan guy that plugs into the USB. And then I will hang it just like that. Let's get that in the camera. But anyway, as you can see, I now have a fan and a light. So with the fan and two lights going, six watts of power. So I could run that, uh, you know, I could run six watts for quite a long time with this thing. I'm not, you know, I mean, we'll say 70 or 80 hours. Um, these are the, uh, as far as lights that plug into it, that would be good. The, the little one, you can also plug it into the smaller battery packs. Sorry, like the uh, switch tin here, and then just turn that bad boy on, and you have, in theory, if I can get it on, in theory, let's see, it's kind of tricky because there's a couple of light. Okay, so now. Even my little, even this little thing is powering 110 lumen light and a fan that's actually pretty good. I mean, can you hear the wind? I can feel it. All right, so smaller stuff with this. These guys are specifically designed. They only work with the Goal Zero brand generators, either the Yeti 150, the Yeti 400, or the Yeti 1250. Um, so it's a proprietary system for the light. But again, you know, it's only running one watt on low, which is what I keep it on, and four watts on high. Four watts would be um, that's 350 lumens, so that's uh, like a full-size living room light, okay? Um, you can do all sorts of other ways. You can charge this guy via, you, you know, you can just plug it straight in the wall and then plug it in here. You can do a 12-volt car charger, or you can obviously use the uh, solar panel. Now, if you tried to use this little tiny solar panel on that thing, 
it, it probably wouldn't work because it would be drawing so little power. So let me give you an idea. That's the size of roughly the solar panel. And right here, down here, it says recharge your Yeti solar generators. Okay, so um, a lot of guys online and stuff, I do see uh, a lot of them running like four of these. You can because you can chain them all together. So you know, 30, 120 watts of power. That would be ideal, um, but you're getting into more, you know, that would be down the line. Like I said, it's investment quality. For right here, right now, having the 130 watt panel with the Yeti gives me, I mean, I can, it, it's plenty of power. I could go for easily a week with only a couple hours of sunlight a day. If I got full sunlight, eight hours a day, I could run that thing and, until it one day it dies I'm sure um, all right so that is uh, the Yeti 400 the generator they also make a smaller one the Yeti 150 um, there's some other accessories that uh, I will talk about and um, just think about the goal zero stuff look at it they have the goal zero.com they have it at REI uh, for good prices and then the number a good spot to get it and, they, and this place doesn't even know they have it so sh but Bed Bath & Beyond, all right? And I'm not kidding, you go in there, you'll get the 20% off, they already are selling them cheaper than I've ever seen, okay? So, uh, that, I'm not gonna repeat it. Go ahead and take that information for what it is and go ahead and get yourself uh, some good equipment here. So, when the lights go out, we are uh, prepared, you know? Night vision is only half the battle. We still need to be able to uh, live comfortably. All right, you guys, have fun, be safe.